A functionally complete set is a set of operations within Boolean algebra that can accomplish all other logical operations that are possible. So, for example, if I said the set of operations and, or, and invert is functionally complete, that would be true because any other operation that I want, any other basic operation, basic gate, can be implemented with this. So, for example, we have an AND gate, but we also have a NAND gate. And the NAND gate is not listed in that functionally complete set. But notice that I can simply use an AND gate followed by an inverter, and I have a NAND gate. So with an AND and an inverter, I was able to get a NAND gate. And you can do this for everything. You can do it for a buffer. You want a buffer, you just take two inverters, put them together. Uh, you want any, you want a NOR gate, you can do that. And you can even do exclusive OR gates. So if you wanted an exclusive OR gate, Remember the true table is, let's say the inputs are A and B, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, and the output for this is 0, 1, 1, 0. You can actually implement that with a logic expression that looks like this. You're going to have A and B, A and B. You can do it with a product of sums. We have a product term here and you have a, and a product term there. And you sum them together, and then you or these together. And what happens here is you're going to have A not B, and then you'll have a, B not. So this is actually the logic expression for an exclusive OR gate using nothing but AND gates, OR gates, and inverters. And if you, if you said, well, what about the last one, which is an X NOR gate? Well, an X NOR gate would simply look like this. You would have input variables A and B, output of F, and we would say 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Exclusive NOR gate is 1, 0, 0, 1. If I wanted to implement that using simply AND gates and OR gates, I could do, again, I could do a product of sums expression. And I have F right there. And I would simply list A and B, and I would invert them before coming into the AND gate. And then I would have A and B, and I would bring them in unimplemented or uninverted. Un so this is an exclusive OR gate using nothing but AND gates, OR gates, and inverters. And you can prove this to yourself by using uh, proof by exhaustion to claim this. But notice that a functionally complete set is, <coughs> is ANDs, ORs, and inverts have covered every single thing that we want to do. Buffer, inverter, AND gate, and AND gate, OR gate, and OR gate, exclusive OR gate, exclusive NOR gate. And that is one of the powerful things about Boolean algebra is that it's defined only for these three operators, but they expand to all other operators so you can manipulate back and forth between them. Another handy thing, though, is a functionally complete set using just a NAND gate or just a NOR gate. So could we say that a NAND gate is a functionally complete set? Well, indeed, it is true if you have an inverter. So if I had a NAND gate and an inverter, I would be able to do anything else that I wanted to. Because what I would have is I'd have a NAND and an, and an inverter to create an AND gate. And then from that, you can actually see that you, using De Morgan's, you can convert back and forth between ANDs and ORs. And then once you have ANDs and ORs, you have everything you need. So let's take a look at how we could create an inverter using a NAND gate. Consider this configuration. I'm going to take a NAND gate, and I'm going to tie its inputs together. So we'll call this A, and we'll call this F. And what I want to do here is I want to first list the truth table for a NAND gate, which is going to be 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. And I'll list the output, which is going to be 1, 1, 1, 0. So in this configuration, what I've done is I tie the inputs together of a two-input NAND gate. So I will never have inputs that are different from each other. You're either only going to have 0 and 0 as an input or 1 and 1 as an input. So look at what I have here. If A is equal to 0, then both inputs are 0, and my output is a 1. If A was equal to a 1, it would drive both inputs of the NAND gate, and I would get a 0. So this is actually equivalent to an inverter. Once I have an inverter, now I can create an AND gate by simply taking a NAND gate and putting an inverter after it. But in this situation, I would do that with another NAND gate. So this is equal to an AND gate. And then if I had an AND gate and I wanted to find, create an OR operator, I could put inverters here on the inputs, use De Morgan's to convert that into an OR gate with the output and convert it, outputs inverted, and I could do, simply do this conversion again 
to implement everything that I wanted to. So indeed, a NAND gate is a functionally complete set, assuming that you have an inverter, which by this right here should prove that you can use a NAND gate to create an inverter. All right, what about a NOR gate? Let's take a look at a NOR gate. Is a NOR gate functionally complete? Well, with De Morgan's, just like with a NAND gate, as long as we can convert between an AND and an OR, we're good. We're good. And it's, so De Morgan gives us that ability. As long as we can get the NOR gate into an OR gate fashion using an inverter. So can we do the same thing? Let's take a look at if that works. Let's take an OR gate with its output inverted, which is an OR gate, and I'm going to tie its inputs together. And we'll call the input A again, and we'll call the output F. So let's take a look at the true table for a NOR gate. So it's going to be 00011011. And the outputs for a NOR gate are going to be simply 1000. Well, again, by tying the inputs together of the two input NOR gate, we've gotten rid of the possibility that the inputs can be different. So this row of the true table is gone. This row of the truth table is gone. And what we're left with is that the input is either going to produce a 00, which has an output of a 1, which is an inverter, or it's going to produce a 1,1 one, one over here, which is an output of a 0, which is also an inverter. So this right here is equal to an inverter. So again, a NOR gate is functionally complete as long as you know that by tying the inputs together, you form an inverter. So those two gates are functionally complete.